friends. They're friends, okay? Hold on, let me. Hold on, because, wait a minute. Hold on. Give me a minute. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> welcome back so I was live about 45 minutes or so ago and uh, I was breaking up because I was in the parking garage so I wanted to come back and um, talk more with you guys about grants getting grants receiving grants as a black woman owned for-profit small business so let's chat y'all ready come in say hello let me know about your business like if you were to get a grant today what would that grant look like? Like, what would you need a grant to look like for your business? Put hashtag FYP. If you're black, you're a woman, you're a for-profit, you have a small business that could use a grant. Talk to me with hashtag FYP. Let me know you're in the right place. Good morning, good morning. If you're returning, I keep saying good morning. I'm so used to being on here in the morning time. I'm about to eat some leftovers that I brought home from the restaurant. Some of y'all may have hung out with me about an hour or so ago. I didn't get a chance to properly wrap up the live, so I wanted to come back live and chat with you guys. So y'all tell me about your business really quick. If you're a black woman, for-profit, small business owner, what is your business? Talk to me really quickly in the chat. We got about 31% battery life. It's on the charger. I'll try to hang out with y'all as long as I can while I try my leftover olive oil cake. Interested in that. And my leftover, I forgot what this was, but it was so good. Oh, general something plant-based chicken. Anyway, what's your business? Talk to me in the chat really quick. If you're new here, put new here. Hey, new here. Put hashtag FYP if you're new here. Let's see. Let me make sure I'm talking to the right people. I'm Dr. AJ Austin, winner of over $51,700 in grants and grant funded opportunities. Hey, Lisa Barnes, what's your business? Hey, Ray of Sunshine, what's your business? Continuous, what's your business? What do y'all do? Let's chat. Let's see what this cake looking like. Hope it travel well. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Interesting. What is your business that you can use the grant for? Talk to me real quick in the chat. We only have 31% battery life, so uh, y'all better talk. You're an author. Okay. What is ALF? I don't know what that means. Talk to me like I don't know what that means because I don't. Hmm. Oh, okay. A little lemon-esque. Online clothing store. Okay. Dot collector. Assistant living facility. What's a dot collector? What could you, you guys use a grant for in your business? Dental ins Daniel Insurance Services? Okay. What could you use a grant for in your business? I still don't know what that is. DOT Collector, Department of Transportation. Inventory, marketing, what type of inventory? What type of marketing, Lisa Barnes? Okay. So, if you're black, you're a woman, you have a for-profit small business, you're based in the United States, you're over the age of 18, and you're seeking grants. You also own at least 51% of your black woman-owned for-profit business, Put hashtag FYP real quick because I got to make sure that I'm talking to the right people. This is to help you get grants for your black woman owned for profit small business. Hashtag FYP. FYP. Hashtag FYP. I know when I was live about an hour ago, I left off with the question to those of you who were here with me. If you were to get a grant today, and let's say you got it for like $10,000, right? And the grant said, um, how could you use some of this money to help others? 
So let's say they wanted you to take like 10% of a $10,000 grant, which is like a thousand bucks. How would you take a thousand bucks and benefit other people? Because grants, the number one secret to standing out in grant applications from other businesses who do exactly what you do in your business is to have what's known as a social impact. And a social impact is how you're going to help people outside of what you're putting in your pockets. So for grant said, how will you take some of this money and help others? What would you do with 10% of that money? that you could tell a grant host a writing workshop. Okay. Who would the workshop benefit? Because they want to know. So for example, there in our last five was a lady who, um, wanted to open a nail school. And so she was going to take some of her grant, give it back to people who wanted to go through nail school. You see what I'm saying? That's social impact. Feed the homeless. Okay. Hey, Ray of sunshine. Um, aspiring writers. Okay. What else? You would help people with bills, transportation. What else? Hello, Twyla. How are you? Anything else? Um, Because they love, that's what I get grants for. So if you're new here, welcome. I'm Dr. AJ Austin, winner of over $51,700 in grants and grant-funded opportunities. And I take a portion of the money that I get and give back to my community like this. I'm showing up with you guys here talking about grants for your Black woman-owned small business. And over at blackwomeningrants.com, I have a mentorship program where I do give out scholarships. The mentorship program is usually $297, but I have a spot for one person tonight to get it for only 97 bucks. That's how I give back. It's called a partial scholarship. I get to help someone else find and secure funding for their black woman owned small business. That's why I stand out on grant applications. My last grant application in January was selected out of 500 applications because of that what I do to give back. So if you've ever wondered, are grants legit? Is it worth it? Are they saturated? They are highly competitive. However, if you come in with what's known as a grant application strategy, meaning you have that one thing that your business does to stand out, AKA when I give get money, I give back in this way. It's more likely that your application will stand out among your competitors. Got it. Let me know if this is making sense for y'all. Okay. My voice says I will pay for immediate emergency housing for victims. I most definitely will help someone start their own online business. My community needs more transportation, educational workshops, and why it's important to purchase life insurance. Um, I know for a single woman with no children, I had to pay half my tuition for my bachelor's. So if a grant said, before we give you our money, Tell us what you've already been doing in that area in your business. How have you already been teaching educational workshops? How have you already been helping the homeless? How have you already been giving back before we give you this money? Because how do we know you're going to do that with our money that you haven't been doing with your own? You see what I'm saying? So grants are bigger than just, oh, I need some money. Give me some money. I want some money. Let me put it in my pocket. They're like, no, how are you going to help your community? Because now you're going to help them look good, you're going to look good, and your community gets blessed, right? So they're going to say, how are you already helping a woman in your situation because you needed someone? Be specific. How do you know that type of help is needed? How will you measure that impact? How do you know it's working? So for example, here with Black Women in Grants, we have 61,300 of y'all that are following this page. If you don't follow this page, follow this page. Turn on your notifications too so you know when we're live. I'm usually live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. But I do pop-up lives from time to time. Like today, this is my third time going live and I'm enjoying it. So anyway, I'm here with y'all Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. That's how I give back. I have a mentorship program that has a scholarship. You can get in for only 97 bucks. It gives you year-long access. It's one-time payment. It teaches you everything I know about the foundational principles of grants. What is a grant? How to get a grant? How to find grants? I send you lists of grants. You get mentorship. You get to hang out with 160 other people who are in the program. So you're surrounded by a community of accountability, support, and other people that are doing it. Happy Monday, Elva. So when a grant asks me, what am I doing to give back? How do I show up? Well, it's 56 of y'all on here on a what? Monday night, almost eight o'clock Eastern. <laughs> Consider a daylight savings. And we're learning about grants. You can join. You can get that one spot that's open for scholarships over at blackwomeningrants.com, www.blackwomenandgrants.com. That's how I give back. That's why I keep getting grants because I have a literal example of how I'm helping. I wrote a book called Finding Funding. How to find and secure debt-free non-traditional funding for your black woman-owned small business. And there's an app 
built within that book and the program that'll read the book to you. I just got off the phone with one of our grantees who was telling me her next step is go to sit and listen and let the app read to her. It also comes with a list of all the TikTok lives I've done for you guys. We're at like episode 140. These are bonus episodes, so we might be closer to 150, but I've been here for the last nine months teaching y'all on TikTok live everything that I know that you guys want answers to as to what grants are, how to find them, how to apply, how to win them, how to keep winning them, what to do after you win them. And so that's why I'm here today to help. So my voice, RFPs are not a part of the for-profit world that I'm familiar with. We are on the private sector. That means that the grants and the grant-funded opportunities that we receive come from banks like Wells Fargo, Regions, Chase, etc., or large corporations like FedEx, Target, Verizon, Office Depot, Office Max. And these um, corporations and financial institutions have either gifted an organization the money to train you as a black woman owned for profit small business to either help you build out your business plan or put together your sales strategy or build out your business model or help you with your marketing um, plan or help you project your vision into the future. And so RFPs are for the nonprofit government world. We don't deal in that world because this one is easier. You don't need a grant writer. You don't need to write proposals. All you need to do is search for grant opportunities and go apply as long as you qualify. And so I teach you how to qualify using three um, steps. It's built into the grant program. It's called the three-step grant guide. And they are divided. The steps are divided depending on where you are in your business. So for example, who here is a startup business? Put startup in the chat. And then who here has started? Put started in the chat. Startup means that it's still an idea in your head. It's still in your journal. It may be on your Bapruda, as my little niece used to say. I still say that. She couldn't say computer. Um, that means you need a startup grant. That's completely different than someone who has started a business. Startups usually have not made money yet. Started usually have made money. The difference between a startup and a started is money. If you've made a penny for doing anything in your business, you have officially started a business, okay? There are different things to check off the two checklists that come in the three-step grant guide depending on if you're startup or started. You can't be both. It's either one or the other. Either you've started the business and you have made money or you have not started yet because you haven't made money. If you have started a business, you have made money. So, which one are you? And then, speaking of LLCs, there is something we call the digital document checklist is built into the finding funding ebook that's in the mentorship over at blackwomeningrants.com and it's 25 things everything from your articles of incorporation your business bank account your um sometimes you need a logo your business social medias your employer identification number your taxes your profit and loss statement your uh, marketing plan sales strategy is so much that some grants will ask you for and you want to make sure that you got it in your back pocket ready and so we do it as a checklist to make sure as you're applying for these opportunities you can check it off your list if you got those in place you should be applying for grants already if you got those in place and you've been applying for grants and you haven't won yet you need to come join us in the mentorship if you've never applied for a grant and you still need to get those in place come join us in the mentorship we got one spot open i might open up a couple more spots depending on who is um, joining us, but uh, blackwomeningrants.com is the place to be. We hang out once a month live on <laughs> Thank you for the rose, guys. Um, thank y'all for the 2.9K likes. Y'all been showing out for the 9.9 and 2,000. I might need to come back on here with y'all on a Monday evening at 8 o'clock. Hello? It's only 97 bucks, one-time payment. That's the scholarship price. Regular price is $297. It's first come, first serve over at blackwomeningrants.com. And I've laid out everything that you need based on where you are in your business, whether you're a startup or started. I see a lot of started's. I see a lot of startups. Pick a side. Um, and this is only for black women, for-profit small business owners seeking grants for their black woman-owned for-profit small business. We are black women in grants. That's who we are. There is a difference between nonprofit and for-profit grants. And I break it down. We did a workshop. We did a boot camp. It's only $97 for the year. One-time payment, year-long access, $97, one spot, first come, first serve. So I've done a workshop, a boot camp, and a master class on the difference between nonprofit grants, for-profit grants, where you stand, how to apply, how to find them, what to look for, what to look out for, how not to get scammed, all that good stuff. So 
who here is really serious about grants? Twyla, I think you're in our in our mentorship, right? I think I sent your email today, which is why your name is sticking out to me. Tasha says she's serious. Okay. So I see a couple of y'all serious. So that means I should see at least one registration come through for the 97 bucks. Um, because it's all in there. Okay. Well, Twyla, if you've paid the 97 bucks, you're in. Unless we have another Twyla. That is very possible. We have we do have a couple of y'all with the same names. I just want to make sure I'm having the right conversation with the right one. So let me tell you, if you're serious about grants, grants can be a great um addition to your bottom line. And what I mean is grants add an additional 10% to what I do every year. So my main company, I train and certify Christian coaches. And that's what I get grants to do to give them partial scholarships to go through my certification to become a certified Christian life coach. That's one business. It's multi six figures. And then grants come in and add 10% to that bottom line because we're actively applying. We're actively helping you guys apply. And so for me, just alone, since I've been applying for grants um, since 2020, I do it, you know, quarterly or I will last year, last summer. I did a six figure challenge you know, quarterly or I will last year, last summer, I did a six figure challenge. Oh, I now share what I know, share what I've learned, share what I continue to learn, including opportunities that are now on the table for those of you to go apply. And so the last seven ladies who were serious about grants invested 97 bucks, took advantage. We got Klarna, we got Afterpay and we got a scholarship. What else you want? We, if I could take food stamps, I would because they spend like money too. But I'm meeting you where you are if you're super serious about adding more to your bottom line. Because knowing that you got, you know, that on like, oh, that's cute, an extra 10% in addition to what you're already making in your business or what you already will be making in your business, it's very helpful. If you try to do this on your own, you have about a 1% win rate of the grants and uh, them coming through. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So... There was something else that I was going to tell you. Oh, so the last seven ladies who took it serious, invested their 97 bucks um, and did what I tell you to do in the program, they have collectively won a total of $78,200. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep, that's without my 50 plus thousand. So together, we've won over six figures in the last nine months. We're new here to TikTok, so... I'm bringing what I know. I got the book. I got the app that'll read it to you. I got the events that I've hosted that you get the replays to. We hang out once a month. I give you three lists of grants to go apply to. And what else is in there? Oh, the three-step grant guide. So much other goodies as it comes to me. I'll tell y'all about it. It's over at www.blackwomenengrants.com. Blackwomenengrants.com. We got one spot available today. First come, first serve. If you click the link and it still says $97, just know that God was working on my heart. I was feeling generous and I wanted to give y'all more opportunity to get in here. People that are in there are recently telling me, we know you could charge more if you wanted to. Uh, my coaches are threatening me. You need to go up on the price. So that's why the regular price is $297. But if y'all get in with the scholarship, they can't say nothing because grants come in and cover the rest. So um, maybe another day gets broke up. Okay. So. What questions can I answer for you guys about getting grants, finding grants, winning grants, applying for grants, what grants are, what they could look like? That's always fun for me to talk about. We've been talking about that the last week or so. Ladies over Um, Let me see. Okay, I was trying to make sure I didn't miss the comments that I should um, talk about. What main questions can I answer for you? I should have brought my other... Um, I might have to go get my, um, yeah, let's do that. Let me go get my, um, tablet so that those of you trying to grab a spot can grab a spot. Hold on. And I can let you in as you sign up. Hold on. It's going to get a little dark because I ain't got my lights on in here. I'm just coming in from having her. It felt like going live again because we were on live until I got to the parking garage and y'all can hear me. And I said, I got to come back just in case. <laughs> okay, let me prop this. Up. I should have brought the stand too, but we're 
check that out. Okay. So let me get y'all back on your tripod here. Hold on, y'all. Hope on. Log us out. Uh-oh. <laughs> there we go. Ask me any questions you have about grants and grant funded opportunities. Um, that's what I was gonna say. If you want to hear talking about you broke, absolutely. Whatever you say, we gonna agree with you. But if you're really serious about grants and uh, the people that you've been designed to help by getting this type of funding for your business, you would at least go click and see what's available um, in the form of payment arrangements, in the form of scholarships, in the form of let me just see, let me activate some faith and act like I want some help or to help somebody. Okay. What's the best way to find grants in the state you live in? That's a great question. Have you ever done a search? Um, the easiest way to find a grant organically is to go and just put in grants for whatever you're looking for. So what are y'all looking for grants for specifically? Let me know. The easiest grants to find are grants for being just a black woman, small business owner seeking grants. So it's Tammy Jones. It's blackwomeningrants.com. www.blackwomeningrants.com. Oh, I'm on there now. Hold on. <laughs> you can get that through our TikTok profile. The, the screen may be flipped going this way, but when you go on, it'll be front facing. It's called The Grant Game, okay? Blackwomeningrants.com. It's for black women, small business owners with for-profit businesses who are serious, not complaining, not looking for excuses. I ain't gonna get on my soapbox on tonight because I used to be you. But uh, if you're serious about looking for grants, finding grants, that's who this program is for. It is year-long, one-time payment, 97 bucks. And it's a scholarship. If you click this link, it's gonna take you to Afterpay, options, Klarna options, scholarship option for only 97 bucks. Y'all see that? That's what that looks like. Go see what's up. Again, if the button works, congratulations, you've been blessed with $97. If you get there and the button says $297, congratulations again. You getting a $1,000 program for $297. Okay. All right. What's the criteria for a small business grant? They're different depending on which grant you apply for. It is advised for you to have your business bank account. Yes. Because how they going to pay you? How you going to get your money? You don't want your money? They put them in your bank account. I've been paid through PayPal too. Um, some grants do require your articles of incorporation, your LLC, INC, LLP, sole proprietorship, etc. So look into that as you're applying. Don't let that hold you back, okay? But there's a list of um, digital documents, things that are required to apply for some of these opportunities, but it just depends on which ones you apply to. Your business have to have any? No. So if your business hasn't made any money yet, you're considered a what? Startup. That means you haven't made money yet. So what I advise, if I were new to grants and hadn't started a business yet, I would look for what's called grant funded opportunities. Grant funded opportunities come in the form of business incubators. Have y'all ever heard of a business incubator? It's a training and development program that's funded by grants from these large organizations or these financial institutions. And they're already paid to help you get your business idea off the ground. And sometimes grants are built in the opportunities. So love who you all will see on the website at blackwomenandgrants.com. She went through a program sponsored by FedEx. She got $5,000 when she finished. Deanna Joy, who you all see on the blackwomenandgrants.com website. She went through a program and got $5,000 when she finished. Um, Ashley, who may pop in here, she was on here with us earlier. She just finished a program and got $5,000 at the end. Selena, who sometimes joins us here on our lives, she just got $2,000 within the last week. So sometimes the opportunities are built within these incubator and accelerator programs that are designed to help you get a little further on your journey. Thanks for the applause. I don't know what that means, but... Let me log into my email because I'm just telling y'all to go here and sign up and I don't know who's not signed up yet. So I'm hoping that those of you who are meant to be here are getting in on this. Blackwomeningrants.com is the site. www.blackwomenandgrants.com. All right. Oh, hold on because I am not in the right email. <laughs> I'm hold, another. Uh, hold on, y'all. Let me see if I can remember my password. I'm used to being at my laptop and not the baby Vapurta. So ask me more questions. I'm happy to chat. Um, 
Let me make sure I can log into my email. And those of you who have joined us, give me one second to make sure that you get logged in. If I can get logged in, let's start there. I think that's right. Be right. Okay, there we go. Okay, I see y'all. Um, okay, so if you're joining us, come on, girl. Let me see if this don't let me in. I may have to go sit at my laptop because it's not it's not giving me the access that I need from my tap that I thought I could, but hold on. Sheesh. This thing way too long. Okay, I'm gonna give it a minute. Maybe it needs to recognize the device. Cause it's like, who are you? Um, so if you register, give me a minute and I'll let you in. I'm gonna have to go let you in through the um the laptop unless I can figure this out. But talk to me, y'all. Small business startup means you haven't started your business yet. Let me scroll back up and see which ones I missed. The link should be loading. Blackwomeningrants.com. My Bapruda over here don't have nothing to do with the website not working. Um, the website should be working. It's my login on this tablet versus my laptop. Uh, hold on, y'all. Let me scroll. Got a little different little setups in here. So I'm trying to let my phone do what it's trying to do. Okay. So Annie says she signed up. Triana, let me know if you get the link working. Yeah, if you hear with a broke mindset, you might as well log out, babes. I ain't got nothing for you. I'm here to help if you want to be helped, but I can't change your mindset at all. All I can do is show you what's being done and that's working. And if you want to come join us, come join us. But you can't come with that energy, honey. Keep your 97 pennies, child. I know it's more than 97 pennies than 97 dollars. But anyway, grants are free because in my recent searching, I'm hearing that they are not. Is that true? It depends on how you define free. How do you define free? Because <laughs> we talked about this earlier on my live. It's technically free money, but you still have to search for the opportunity. Read, research, and review the opportunity. Apply for the opportunity. Wait on the decision to see if you got it. If not... Or if you got it, keep applying, keep repeating that process. Learn, let your applications get better. Even after you win, you got to carry through what you promised that you would do with the money. On another end, you may see some grant opportunities that come with like an application fee. So for example, the last grant that I won recently was um, a $35 application fee, but I won $1,500 in a check. We put that in a the bank. Then I got over $12,000 in prizes from coaching, mentorships, gift in the mail, t-shirts, website, redesign options, so much more. Digital business cards, year-long Amazon Prime subscription paid for, so I didn't have to renew that on my own dime. Um, this came from that opportunity, a little Amazon Fire, that was $100. Um, Audible, I've read a book a month for the last year, thanks to a grant. I got a book bag that I keep by my Bapruda in my office. And so I usually show that on camera. Brand new Kenneth Cole. Matter of fact, we won another grant after that. Um, back in December, Office Depot Office Max crowned us Entrepreneur of the Year through a program that they sponsored and gave a check to. I came in and got a cut of that money twice. So once they sent me over $900 in gifts to my door. I got a desk. I got a new chair. I got a new filing cabinet, journals, pens. You name it, I've won it, okay? And then they gave us a $500 gift card to go shopping in a store. That's where my Kenneth Cole business book bag came from. Um, and yeah, I also send my clients gifts in the mails. Like, I'm excited to share these opportunities with you guys. So when you look at free, you're still investing some in it, but you have to look at what's required. And then you have to also use discernment. Is this worth me even investing to pay an application fee? Can you find proof that people have won this money? See how they're spending it, the stories they're telling, um, what have they done since they won their grant? What is the grant saying about them? Like you got to follow the trail of the money, you know, and then that will help you to determine if it's worth your time worth your investment financially, etc. 
Um, the best way to find grants for the state you live in is to go put in the state you live in in a quick online search and put grants in your state, grants for black women in your state. A lot of grant stuff is online, so it's not necessarily state specific. It just depends on what type of grant it is, really. Um, but the grants that I participated in are global, all over the world. One I got last year, it was a scholarship to go through a fellowship program, which is a higher level accelerator. Accelerators are for you if you've started a business, made money, and now you want to focus more on you as a leader. Your leadership development skills, human resources, hiring a team, standard operating procedures, all that good stuff. We got world-class coaching. Um, the headquarters is in D.C., but everything was online. And so um, that meant that a hundred of us from around the world, it was only four of us from the United States. So imagine that all these countries got together in this program and now we're represented globally. They've changed the rules since we graduated. Now a program of that status, you have to make at least $100,000 a year and have three people on your team. They just announced that this week. And so, um, but that wasn't state specific. They were based in a certain state, but they opened it up globally. And that's the opportunities that I see are most available. It's not necessarily state specific. If you're looking for state specific, I would advise what I just did. I met with, well, I have a meeting on the agenda to meet with my new mayor of the city that I located to not too long ago. And with that, they know the ins and outs of grants coming to the city. But usually state specific grants are for like brick and mortar businesses. So for example, there was an event that I was invited to about two weeks ago where we got, it was 125 of us. I was invited. It was a panel of eight black women mayors. They're running cities here in Georgia. And they talked about how they're winning grants. One city is looking for a full-time grant writer to get on their full-time staff. Collectively, they brought in $1.8 million in grants and sponsorship opportunities. And so I know here in my city, um, we have a business district. And so collectively, like they have a meeting tomorrow, I'm going to go and sit in and be nosy. But collectively, because we're a part of the history of our state as black business owners, um, they give what's known as facade grants. And facade grants are like if you can find an empty, dilapidated building and you do some renovations and they will help you decorate the front and make it look good. So like Keith Lee will stop by your restaurant. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> you have to have a brick and mortar. You have to be like invested in the renovations, apply for a facade grant, get that. Those are usually state specific that I've seen and I've heard about recently ongoing. And they're actually like scouting for businesses who need those. So that's how that works. And let me know if you have any more questions. I'm happy to answer those as well. I'm trying to go back through the old comments and make sure I don't miss nobody. Um, but if you've asked me a question, ask again if it hasn't been answered. Um, and if it's anything crazy, I just ignore you at like I don't even see you talking. What is the criteria for a small business grant to get a grant? Usually, oh, we talked about that. Do you need an LLC? Sometimes, if they ask. What do I teach in the course? Let me pull that up for you real quick. So, if I were you, I would click this little link right here. Boom. Let me see if it takes, oh, it took us right to, this is Black Women in Grants. This is our page here on TikTok. Make sure you follow this page. Turn your notifications on for when we go live. But there's a little link right there. Let's see if it, let me click it. There we go. This may be backwards on your screen, but when you go, it's going to be front facing. Okay. So on this screen, it's going to pull up blackwomenandgrants.com. That's our website, www.blackwomenandgrants.com. It is going to show you that this is for black women, for profit, small business owners seeking grants for their black woman owned small business. You're serious. You ain't coming in talking about how broke you are. Cause child, we don't need that here. But, uh, this is everything that's in it. This is everything that I teach. So let me read that to you. Again, it's only 97 bucks, one-time payment, year-long access, the scholarships. Um, I'm hoping they're working. I can't log in. <laughs> so hopefully y'all are getting in. <laughs> it's not letting me log in like I thought it would here. So there's the Finding Funding ebook that I wrote, How to Find and Secure Debt-Free Non-Traditional Funding for Your Black Woman Owned Small Business. And that book is full of my 25 secrets to how I've won over 50K in grants over the last few months, question mark. And how collectively the women in this program have won $78,200 in the last 90 days. So that's one thing. One of the ladies we interview is Deanna Joy. I don't know if she'll pop on. She's usually on here with us early in the mornings. She won $55,000 by herself. Just implementing what I teach in the book. Mm -hmm. 
She also, so she won 50000 for her, um, she's a nonprofit grant writer. So she read the book, did what I said, won 50000 for her nonprofit grant writer. He said, okay, we want to give you a cut of that uh, 50K. She turned around and won 5K for her for-profit business. And then she went back, um, she went through the program that gives you 5K at the end. Now she's a mentor for that program, teaching others who are coming through the program, getting their 5K. And they're like, oh, you can help me get a grant? Take some of my 5K. So she is getting paid. So we interviewed Deanna about how she got that grant, what she think y'all need to do to get it, why she thinks she got it, etc. Her interview is in the mentorship along with a boot camp, a workshop, um, and a masterclass on the difference between nonprofit grants, for-profit grants, terms and conditions, what to look for, what to look out for, how not to get spammed and scammed in these grant streets. And I give you three lists of grants and a whole lot more. It's 200 grants on the list that I send you. They're updated monthly because they're curated by other women leaders um, helping other people get grants. And so they update it once a month over $1.2 million on these three lists. And then I teach you how to use tools like AI to apply for grants. If you tried it before, you didn't do it right. Trust me, because the last time I did it, my grant um, application was selected out of 500. Uh huh. So. I share what I know. <laughs> I'm trying to see what else is in there. I've interviewed Grant Check writer and how they bringing us in these rooms, but y'all got to be ready. You got to have the right mind frame, the right work ethic. This is not get quick, get rich quick. <laughs> so if you broke or if you're trying to pay bills tomorrow, don't join this program, please. I don't need that. Join it if you want to make this a part of your long-term financial plan this year. You still got enough time this year. Grants are shifting. You used to could just apply for a grant, get paid, paid flat out. Like in 2020, my first grant that I won on the business side, I've won a million dollars in my personal life from housing to the car I drive today to my college education, a million dollars. Now I'm on the business side, the professional side. I started applying in 2020. It used to be so easy because Black Lives Matter, right? Everybody was jumping on that bandwagon, giving away money. PPP loans and, and, and uh, what was the other thing? Stimulus checks, not a child. So you used to get, get money easier. Now they're tying it into education. Like, let us educate you, then pay you. We still want to give you the money, but show us that we can trust that you're going to do what you say. So it's getting a little tighter. You know, you have to follow certain guidelines. Um, it's not as easy just to get a check handed to you. You do have to do some work. That's why I say free money. It depends on how you define free. Now, most of the time, you don't have to pay a grant back um, because it is considered debt-free, non-traditional, meaning it's not a loan. It's not based on your credit or your criminal history or none of that. Um, it's not like a credit card or crowdfunding or fundraising, etc. It's actually a part of gifted money that, yes, you can be taxed on, by the way, depending on what type of grant it is and how you use it. Um, and so there's also a 30 day action plan. So if you're a procrastinator and you need help with time management, finding these grants and applying for it, I broke down. I just was listening to it on my way to the restaurant I had like a 45 minute drive. So I was listening to my own masterclass. We have a 30 day grant game plan for what you should be doing every day, every day for 30 days to get further along in applying for grants, getting your applications out there and starting to stand out. You know, as long as you know you got applications out there, you ain't worried about whether or not you got one and that one that didn't come through and I didn't win that one. Girl, go put some more applications out there. Use this game plan. That's that's for me. And then this is my favorite because we talked about incubators. We talked about accelerators. We talked about fellowships. These are business training and development programs that have already been funded. They wait on you. To give you a scholarship to go through it, like the ones I'm offering at blackwomeningrants.com. I went through 25 of them since 2020. I give you my top six, the ones I love that I think you should go through. They're free or very low cost. Some of them are based on your income. So if you ain't got no money, hey, they're like, come on, we got you till you start making money. Okay. So I give you my top six most recommended business training and development programs to join that have scholarships attached to them. And then a bonus, I give you how to get grants to come to you. And when you start winning these grants or doing like what Eartha did, who um, Black Girl Ventures, they were on tour this past year. They came through Atlanta and they do these business pitch competitions. And so one of my private coaching clients, Eartha, she's in the grant game mentorship. 
Um, you can join her there at blackwomeningrants.com. You'll see her on that page. She went and pitched her business in a stadium that holds 16,000 people. She won $250 in 60 seconds because of the work that she was able to do with me. And so I built a PR system plus a bonus for how you can get like Eartha, go win this money and multiply the impact of the money that you win. It ain't just about you winning 250. It's about the opportunities that come after that because you have won that money. And so since then, Eartha is featured on two mega websites. She's so excited. And I'm excited for her because she's still out doing the work and getting that notoriety, getting her business some um, free marketing and all that good stuff. So that's what I teach in the mentorship. I'm still trying to log into the system that will let me grant you guys access. For those of you who have joined us with the scholarship, only 97 bucks. It's over at blackwomeningrants.com. No worries. I will let y'all in very soon. Soon. I'm trying to think, is there anything else I can do from here? I may just have to get up and go sit at my desk. So, Angel, hopefully that answered your questions. How can you get a grant for a product invention? Mm, have a social impact piece to it, showing how your product invention is going to help your community because they're going to ask, how do you know that's needed? Has anyone told you? Have you tried it and it worked for others? Have they given you testimonials, etc.? I should say she's doing. I can't see y'all right now um, that have joined because my baby Bapurda won't let me log in. So I'm going to get up in a minute and go let y'all in. So now is a great time to jump on it because I can't see nothing, child. Once we're in, do we get help with business plan? No. But there are programs that I recommend that you click on those links in the um, mentorship that will help you build out your business plan. I don't do that. Tammy says she joined. Annie says she joined. My voice says she joined. I talked about what's included in the class, but not here with that. Looking for help. And the first thing I hear is pay me. Okay, Shani, you welcome to leave. What's the website so I can join? Blackwomeningrants.com. www.blackwomeningrants.com. Angel, hopefully, I see your question like 15 times, so hopefully that answer. All about progress, having your own forever generation wealth. You want to know? You're a blessing. Thank you, Hello Pretty, for recognizing that. And I thank God I ain't got to prove nothing to nobody. We got 160 of y'all in there just getting this sh money. And so, uh, one, don't stop no show. I need some chapstick. What's my chapstick? Oh. Oh, it's in my pocket. Or it was. Anyway, keep asking questions. I'm happy to hang out. I'm going to get up and go sit at the... Or maybe I should just bring... Nah, because I'd be that knock something. I'll try and bring it in here. Okay. That's messy. Yeah, a lot. <laughs> Too much came out. Great info. Thanks. You're welcome. What other questions can I answer for you? Let me know. That stuff is messy. <laughs> okay. Website is blackwomeningrants.com. Okay, Tarsha, I'm about to get up. Let me go. I'll take you out with me in here. Hold on. I'm very disappointed in my little fire. That won't um let me log in here. So I'm gonna go do what's next. I'm gonna sit in the dark while I do this. So I'm gonna go do what's next. I'm gonna sit in the dark while I do this. I'm coming, y'all. Hold on. I forgot we had relocated. Let me get this set up here. Hold on. <laughs> I'm knocking stuff over. In here in the dog. Okay. Almost. There we go. Oh, I see y'all now. It was in here on the computer. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Hold on. Make sure it don't fall. Then turn on. Hold on. God, I know everything else in my house. Okay, got a little light. There we go, this little light of mine. Can y'all see me? Okay, here's our charger because we only had 37%. Now, let's see. Oh, wait a minute. I'm sorry, y'all. It was okay. Now let me find. Okay, so let me refresh. If you joined us, 
in the mentorship so far, it should have redirected you to a page that's telling you to request access. It may say access denied. It's not. Just click request access. And then you'll get an email. So who did I just email? Carmelia, I just emailed you. Check your inbox. Siobhan, I'm emailing you. Access granted. Um, that's all I see if I'm doing this right. So that means if you joined and you didn't click on that other page, because there's more of y'all in here. I didn't know all this was sitting in here. <laughs> so Siobhan and Carmelia. So Tammy and let me go to the back end because this ain't working like I need it to. Let's see who this is. Tammy, you need to request access. Tarsha, if I haven't said it already, go ahead and click request access. Um, Janicia, request access. And then who is this? Okay, you got that squared away. Um, and then Carmelia has requested access. And Siobhan requested access, if I'm not mistaken. If y'all have not requested access, go ahead and do that now while I'm live so I can make sure that you get in. I think I'm caught up. Y'all let me know if I missed you now because this... I really can't tell what's going on. It usually organizes it. It's usually in order, but I don't know what this thing is doing. Because I started started it from my other computer, and now I'm confused. So it's just grouping everything together. And this is my third live today, so. Um, I want to make sure that if you're one of our scholarship recipients, that you get access. Okay, let me go back to the comments. So, Tarsha, that's what's next. Make sure you're clicking request access. I've also remembered that was in my city. The book is, yes, the book is included in the mentorship. I do have, uh, it's not grant writing because that's for nonprofits, but the book that I have gives you my literal secrets, my essay answers, application, copies of applications I've won grants, copies of my pitch templates. I have the book. It's in the mentorship. That's what it is. So I don't know if you was being funny, but we got the book. I'm trying to tell y'all. It's over at blackwomenandgrants.com. Come join us there. I'm going to leave the scholarship spots open. So if you want to jump on, you can tonight. And uh, don't feel left out, okay? Let's see. Oh, and we got another book coming, too. So... Oh, no, I'm trying not to knock nothing over. This is book one. That's what's in the ebook format over at blackwomenandgrants.com. It's included in the mentorship. This is my 25 secrets to winning 50K. And then this is our next book. It's already in production. And um, that's for our private coaching clients. There are a lot of future learning opportunities built into the mentorship. Like when we hang out live on Zoom once a month. Plus, we got some other trainings coming up where I'm going to help you guys with video pitches and um essays because a lot of y'all say i'm not a good writer i wasn't a good writer in school the essays tripped me up i don't know what to say we got you boo we got some events coming up and then i'm gonna plan with my mayor here in the city to try to do something live for y'all here in atlanta hopefully this year we'll see but you can come out and talk all things grants from grant winners and meet some of the other grant winners that are here in the city i've had lunch with one, ran into one in the grocery store. <laughs> they hear y'all. So come break bread and learn together. Um, Mimi says, OMG, this is amazing information. What is the approval based on? Um, it depends. So if you find a grant that you're interested in applying for, I advise you to read their terms and conditions. Read the eligibilities. So um, one of the last grants that I saw that I shared, um, I do what's known as pop-up perks. So I email y'all when I find opportunities that I'm not necessarily going to apply for, but somebody else might like love. Y'all see her testimonial on, on our site. Anytime I put grants out there, love goes and applies and she be getting these grants. I don't even be knowing until she be like, yeah, you know, I got this $5,000 check because you, you know, posted this and I did what you said. And I'm like, girl, you didn't even say that. 
like, it's happened more than once. <laughs> so she be like, what else do we need to do? So I send y'all emails on grants that are out there. And one of the last ones I sent talked about how you just had to be over the age of 18 on at least 51% of your business, be a woman in business needing a grant. And um, those were the basic eligibility requirements. But every grant is different. Um, so we go for the ones that are specifically for women owned businesses that are for profit us based and you own at least 51 percent you could be a startup you could be um started that those are going to be the two determining factors into what type of grant you apply for so hopefully that helps and he says i'm so excited Annie, did you join us and did you get in um my voice what is your first name because that ain't your name on the red stretch <laughs> um but when you go to blackwomeningrants.com, you click on the scholarship option, you register whatever email you put in there, that's where your receipt is going to be mailed to. The screen instantly redirects you to the portal that you have to click request access. I don't have control over that. It's done automatically. So if you did it right, it should have redirected you to request access to get into the learning portal where all of the 22 modules including the book and audios and videos and special bonuses are in there. So that's what that looks like. That's the email um, that comes through. So when you request access, it's going to email you again, says Dr. AJ Austin, or um, it's coming from one of my other business accounts. It's going to say you've been granted access. And now you should be able to see everything that's in the portal and start clicking and learning and listening and taking notes and doing what it says. Okay. Okay. That's the other page. Tarsha, the you register it flipped to another screen that says request access when you click request access I get an email so I've gotten the emails from Camelia Siobhan and that's it I don't see nobody else so what y'all other people waiting on what y'all waiting on is it me Jesus I'm refreshing my screen. It ain't me because it's coming through. I just don't see y'all requesting access. You have to request access to get into the portal. Let me make sure I'm in the right one. Yeah, because I see everybody else's. I see everybody else's. I only see two. So if you don't have an email from me saying access has been granted, that's because you did not follow that link. Uh, so follow the link. Okay. And sometimes we get excited. We rush. I get it. Clicking just to make sure. Okay. Oh, Annie and Siobhan. How, how would I know? All these government names. <laughs> so, Annie and Siobhan. Tammy says how. How what? Tarsha says how. How what? Then see request exit your Junicia. Let's see. Hold y'all, hold on. Temperature shifted. It was hot, damn cold. Put my sweater on. Okay. So I see your registration. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, let me read more. Maybe y'all told me some more in the comments. Brenda um I'm trying to think if you joined before the revamp do you remember when you joined Brenda let me look you up you joined on the 28th so you might have been at the tail end of right before the revamp so that means you got a welcome email Yep, because you told me you wanted a new email on file. Remember our conversations in the inbox? I remember. And so, check that welcome email. And it says, click here for the grant database. It's a database, it's a spreadsheet, and it's a list. <coughs> you have all of those. I lost my shoe. <coughs> I 
Okay. My voice has a receipt. So if you got a receipt, <coughs> let me keep reading. I feel like I'm missing y'all. The book is in the mentorship, Mimi. That's how you get a copy. If you can, <laughs> okay. For those of you who have joined the Grant Game Mentorship tonight, and you did not click on that next link that it took you to, because it took everybody else there. Simply reply back to the emailed receipt. Y'all say y'all got receipts. Reply back to the receipt. <coughs> and I can send you your access codes. Because it sounds like y'all got excited. You didn't want to miss the rest of the live. And you clicked too early. And you missed the link to get in to the portal. And it's okay. I'm happy to help you get in. Don't panic. Don't worry. I got you. But you got to reply to your receipt. So real quick. Lead a line real quick. I'm going to be here. I'm going to wait. Just hurry up. <laughs> uh, we got 36%. So to the phone. That way well, I ain't going to say it. Just reply back to your emails. That your receipt came to. And that way. I can send you your own private link where it will register your email and get you logged into the learning portal, okay? So let's woosa and get you logged in. Y'all ready? Okay. I'm trying to make it could. Let me double check before I see it. Okay, Tammy, I see you. Tammy. Let me find your personalized private link here and boom there you go Tammy I just emailed you please let me know you got your email who's next Marsha, I see you. I just emailed you. Boom. Let me know you got it. Well, I'll know when y'all click request access that you got it. Because it registers your email, okay? This is your personal private link. Click it. And then I can let you in, okay? Hopefully that uh, registers. Who's next? Anybody else? Anybody else? Anybody else? You replied to the receipt. Okay, my voice. I'm trying to remember. You said you're Junice. Was that you? I know everything is happening so fast. Okay, Tarsha, I see you. Access granted. You're in, girl. Welcome. Congratulations. We did it. Who's next? Anybody else? Okay. Again, you got it? Yay! So, just like Tarsha, just like Tammy, if you joined us over at blackwomeningrants.com on one of the scholarship spots, simply reply back to your email. I'm happy to send you your own personalized code. Tammy, I just emailed you. Check your inbox. Let me know you got it. It's going to register your email address that is you and you only. Don't be sharing this with nobody. Because we can see you. It's tracked. So that's why we do it like this. We got your address, your email, your phone number, some of y'all husband's names on these credit cards. Like, if I was you. <laughs> okay. Tammy got it. Yay! My voice, I'm waiting on you because I don't see it. Did you say you're Junicia? All you got to do is reply to the email that you're receiving seat was sent to. That's it. That's it. That's it. Just reply back to your email real quick. Find that receipt email and hit reply and be like, send it. 
and that will um <clears throat> you have three times let me check Rob. do you remember what email address you put in because that's confusing let me check again and again and again okay i see you guess what you're in my spam why are you in my spam girl you ain't no scam, no, are you? <laughs> okay, I see your emails here. I wonder why I put it in there. Probably got a lot of this extra code. I don't know what this is, but uh, we rebuke it. Hold on. Uh oh. Live will end in 58 seconds. Why? We have detected inactivity during your live content. Complete the verification. Things are tripping. Okay, y'all, they're trying to they're trying to end my live for some reason. This is weird. Oh, uh -uh. verification. Okay. Mm, there we go. Okay, TikTok was trying to end my live for some reason. We're back. Okay, Janicia, I see you, boo. No worries. I don't know why it's. For some reason, it identified your message as spam. So hopefully. Okay, so let me find your email. I'm glad I checked, girl. Woo. <laughs> okay, hold on. Y'all got all these alias names. Let me try. I ain't even gonna try to memorize no more. I'm gonna be like, who am I talking to today? Okay. So, J. Janicia. <laughs> I just emailed you. Let me know you got it. And let's get you out of spam. Okay, let me make sure ain't nobody else in here. Mm. I'm just clicking on stuff. Okay, I think that was it. Don't look like nobody else in here. That was a little weird. Okay, let me get back to the main thing. Okay, I think we're good. Um, Y'all got me triple checking stuff. <laughs> let me make sure everybody got it. Okay. Yay, Janice, I see you here now. <clears throat> and let you in. There we go. Access granted. So you should have got your email saying access granted. <laughs> yeah, you got it. I think everybody has been let in that has been trying to get in. We good, everybody. What else y'all want to talk about? Anything? Let me know. Sheesh. That took us a minute, didn't it? So glad we worked through that. God is good. Okay. <laughs> That's how this works. Let me, um, I just need something else come through. Let me make sure, because I'll be I check spam and everything. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. I forgot what we were talking about for this. Sheesh. Okay. You ready? Girl, it's a lot. So let me tell y'all, because I am in a three-day challenge, and it was so funny because our mentors um, had us to answer these homework questions and for my homework, as I was starting to do it, um, a client reached out. Let me see. Where's her email? 
And let me tell y'all, because this might be one of y'all. And I'm just, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to help you before it happens. How about that? What time did she send that? This was like in the afternoon. Right before I went to get some dinner. She's saying, go call her name. She might be on here. She know who she is. She said, hello, Dr. AJ. Now, she purchased the uh, mentorship, she said, a few weeks ago. But when I typed her name into the database, it was two months ago. I guess that's a few weeks. That's a lot of weeks. So she tried to like... And she said um, she went over everything. Now, went over means I just scanned through to see what was in here and I went on about my life. I'm saying this to y'all because we better not get too much down the road and y'all went over everything. I'm going to break this down for y'all in a minute because I'm going to tell y'all how we got through this. She said, I'm still confused. Not with your info. Keep that in mind. But I think I have some kind of mental block. Uh-oh. Sound familiar? Y'all ever doing a program and then you got a mental block all of a sudden? You went from like, yes, I know this is for me to... She said something else is going on because she had... She said you, meaning me, have everything plain and simple. She's talking about the program. But yes, yeah, she said she's still struggling to put everything together. We're going to talk about that. She said, has anyone else had this issue or perhaps experienced it before? What can I do? Or is it anything you recommend? So, I was feeling good. I was chilling in my car. I do daily drinks with myself. I don't know if y'all have ever done this, but this is my, my staff meeting. This is my leftover daily drink. I got to sit through and drink all of this. I got hungry, so I ain't making through all this. So, we talked for about 30 minutes. I gifted her a call. Now, I don't do this for everybody. Okay, I told her that. I gifted her a call because my message to her with this email needed to be live and in living color. And it just so happened to coincide with the homework that my mentor gave me, which was what do your clients need the most help with? Let me tell y'all what you're going to need the most help with if you're like her. Y'all ready? Put ready if you're ready because I'm about to help some of y'all because it may happen to you. She asked, anybody else going through this? Step one, a few weeks ago is when she said she registered. But it was two months. Don't let two months go by and you ain't dealing with this program. You hear me? Sound like a mama, don't I? Um, she purchased January 12th. It is March 11th. That is two February, March. Okay, not a few weeks. Come to find out, she said I went over everything. I said, what does went over mean? She said, well, I read to page 20 in the book. The book is 160 pages, ma'am. I said, what else have you done in the program? We got videos, we got audios, we got worksheets, we got calls that I ain't seen you on. We do a call once a month, so you done missed two calls. So you when, when you went over everything, what you go over? Like, this was our conversation. She could tell you. I said, going over everything, skimming everything, stopping at page 20 does not mean you're doing the work in this program, ma'am. Amen? Okay. She said she was still confused. I said, confused about what? You're not confused because you don't even know what's in the program. Okay. So her confused was basically, I was like, you got two options. You want me to hold your hand and baby you and coddle you and be like, it's okay. You can do, or do you want me to tell you what I know I needed to call you and deliver live to you because an email could have been missed. The school. She would have been like, oh, she's so rude. I had to call you. And let you hear my tone. <laughs> She's been on live with us too. She said, no, keep it real. I said, okay. A few weeks and two months, two different things. Going over everything and doing the work that it say to do in this program ain't the same thing. You're not confused. What you're trying to do is cheat. Some of y'all will be guilty of this. The program is the cheat code. I've gone through it. I have literally sat here and cried, had panic attacks, taken chill pills, still had anxiety, wanted to cuss, needed a nap, needed to eat, go exercise, burn this energy, and come back and still apply for these grand opportunities that I'm helping y'all get into just like that. All you got to do is listen to the video, take notes, and do what I say, not skim it, not wait two months and then tell me I'm confusion. No, you not. 
You trying to find an easier way and there is no easier way. This is not get rich quick, ma'am. If you taking notes with or without short-term memory loss, you can go back through your notes unless you forget you got notes. Don't be, don't be, don't be, uh-uh. Ah, uh -uh, no excuses allowed. <laughs> So she clearly wanted to let me know it's not the information. I know because you ain't even went through it. Hello? Mm -hmm. She said, I think I have some type of mental block. No, you don't. You just needed to hear my voice on this phone. And that's what I told her. Sometimes y'all be needing me to yell. Some people have literally said, I just needed a kick in the pants. I just needed to hear your voice. I just needed a push. I needed a little motivation. That's all you needed. It's grown women's. Some of y'all is mamas and homeowners and wives and business. On you can't read a book. They got an app that'll read it to you. You can't carve out 10, 15 minutes a day to do what you said you wanted to do because you need. Hello, AJ Parker. Ah, <laughs> uh, she said she was still struggling. No, you're not. You're not. And that's what I told her. If the program is simple, it's plain. These are her words. The information is plain and simple. It's not your information. I know. I'm still struggling to put everything together. No, you're not. You're trying to cheat. There's no cheat code. And then she says, she tried to bring y'all in on it. Just like you remember when, now I got two brothers. <laughs> so you know how when one get in trouble, everybody get in trouble. If I'm getting a whooping, I'm finna tell on you too. Like we're going down together. She tried to bring y'all in. Is this happening to anybody? No. But then when I called, I was like, you know the people that this happens to? The people who ain't reading the book. The people who ain't clicking play and listening to the video. The people who ain't taking notes and going back and doing what I... Yeah. It does happen to a lot of people who doing the same thing you doing. So all y'all getting whooped. Just like that. <laughs> and that's what I told her. She said she wanted the real deal. Okay? Everybody getting whooped. So that's why I'm having to use her as an example. If this happens, when this happens, remember this whooping. Okay? <laughs> So when she asked me, is there anything she could recommend or I could recommend, I recommended a phone call, first of all. Now this is this, I had to play mama that's getting ready to call your teacher and come down to that school tomorrow. Don't make me have to come back down here. Y'all remember them? Y'all don't act like it was just me and my brothers. <laughs> so mama had to get on the phone and be like, I can't do this for everybody, but you special case today. You better be glad. I had a little time. I took off work. Don't make me come back down to this schoolhouse. So, we hung up. She was in great spirits. She's about to go <laughs> and do her homework. And uh, I told her I will be using her as the cautionary tale of when this happens. You're going to feel like, oh, it's so much information. I'm overwhelmed. I'm stuck. I'm struggling. I don't know what to do. What have you done? Now, what have you skimmed? Now, what have you thought about? Now, what have you partially read? What have you done with the information. Hope this helps. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay. And if this mentee is on here, I love you with the love of the Lord. Now go do your homework. Amen. Because imagine what's on the other side. OMG. If somebody told me money was on the other side of me going to do some work, guess what I would do? What I just got through doing, I went to dinner. Oh, girl, it was so good. I'm vegetarian, and I saw this new vegetarian restaurant on TikTok. And I was like, oh, do I want to drive almost an hour? And I did. So let me show you how I put this same information into action. I had just hung up with this mentee, listened to some of the information that I sent her that's in the program. She just was struggling. I got to the restaurant. And did my homework for my class because I was on a call today too. Coaching call, mentorship call. Listened to it while I was on my daily walk around the block. I fit my learning in too. So I can't ask y'all to do something that I'm not doing. So I teach from what I know and from what I do because it works. And I don't know what it's like to have memory loss, but I have, what do you call it? I still haven't found the word that I like for it. But I have a form of photographic memory. 
That means that let's say we're on the phone and we're talking and I'm doing a specific task. Every single time I go to do that task, your conversation is going to be in my brain. It's going to remind me of what we talked about or what I was doing the last time I was here. It happens every time. I was brushing my teeth and then I went to brush my teeth the next time. And I was like, oh, yeah, because well, and so it instantly comes back to me. I don't know what that's called, but that's what my brain does. So I know as soon as I get in my car, I hit a podcast because that's how my brain is trained. I go on a walk. I'm going to listen to my homework. That's how my brain is trained. I go out to dinner. I'm bringing my notebook to take notes because that's how my brain is trained. So I'm fitting in my trainings as well. I'm not just telling y'all to do something that I don't do. And I'm using this to my benefit. Well, look who it is. Deanna Joy, our $55,000 grant winner who read the book, did what I said, and won some money. Hey, Deanna Joy, who's just talking about you, of course. This is a late night live. I just felt like going live. This is actually time number three. So welcome. What questions y'all got about my Sermon on the Mount? Because <laughs> I just blessed some of y'all real good in a good, holy Christian way. Because I'm a Christian woman. But hopefully it inspired you to not let excuses get in your way. To program yourself to fit in time to learn as you learn. Amen? Can I get a amen? If this helped you, did that motivate anybody to be like, oh, that was a whipping. OK, hopefully it motivates you. That's all I got for you. I'm tired of yelling. Advice. For, did you see the event we got going on? Are you coming? Because that's what um, we're going to be talking about. Um, I'm trying to think. There was, Deanna, this is something that you can do before the event if you're going to join us or not. This is going to be bless you. This is going to be bless you. <laughs> Tammy says yes because you'll be very first. Girl, I, I'm telling y'all what I do. Um, there was a grant with Issa Rae and Walmart called Black and Unlimited. So if you type in hashtag Black and Unlimited here on TikTok, all the video submissions will pop up. And you know how I tell y'all to find these grants and people who have been awarded. That's gold. Because you can see what they did to win. Those who didn't win. Mm -hmm, go put that in the search bar. And uh, send me some of the things that you noticed from those videos. Because mm -hmm, see, those were some real content creators. And that's what type of grant that was. Because they gifted them a trip to L.A., a uh, um, ring light, a microphone, and a camera to make more content. You're welcome. That's a goal mine. It's hundreds of video submissions. Most of y'all ain't going to do it. So that's why I'm, I don't even mind sharing because most of y'all ain't going to go do what I'm telling you to do and be like, <gasps> but uh, we talk about that in the mentorship too. I give you my template. You get to see me pitch and win money. Eartha has won money. I told y'all about her. But uh, that's something that you could do to really help you. Ashley did it recently, and she just submitted for another grant using some of the tips, girl. It's a, hey, it's powerful. So we're gonna talk about it. You try for season two. I don't even know if they got to meet Issa, but it was through her um, media company, Hooray Media. And just to see some of the submissions, that's what I'd be telling y'all to do. Go find the people who have won the grants or at least entered these competitions and see. You better get you some tips, girl. You better. Get you one of these because uh, those are the tips you need. People who are actually submitting, it's live in action. It's recent. Someone most lost, and I could tell you what they did wrong. Um, and then the winners, we're going to um, break down the 10 secrets that they used to win. And one girl literally broke a rule and still won. And I was like, that's what I'm talking about. So, like I said, Ashley has done it. We're doing an event on the 30th, all about pitching, how to get like a really good 30, 60, and depending on, it's either 30 seconds up to two minutes when you apply for a grant that asks for a video. Here are the 10 secrets that they're going to want to see in the videos. So go look at some of the videos and see if you can um, get some inspiration for those. That's a great starting place. Hello, new here. Welcome. I'm Dr. AJ Austin, winner of over $51,700 in grants and grant funding opportunities. We are just sitting here talking about P 
pitching your video, pitching your video, pitching your business for grants using video. Y'all can let me know if you have more questions. I'm just trying to remember while I was out everything I wanted to do. <laughs> and um, some stuff I got done. Some stuff I should have wrote down. But that food was so good. Oh, that's what I was supposed to be. I was supposed to be eating my leftovers. It is 9 o'clock at night. I was supposed to eat that an hour ago. Thank God it's plant-based. What camera do I use? People ask me that often. I use the great Android. You know how y'all iPhone people be like, it's my Android. And thank you for saying it looks amazing. <laughs> Team Android. <laughs> it has a phenomenal camera. So much. So I won a video um, film contest. And my coach, let me roll my eyes. I can't roll my eyes. At her. <laughs> I did it in front of her to her face. She's an iPhone girl. And so she was talking smack, Android this, iPhone, iPhone. And I took our picture and the pictures came out crispy. She was like, oh, send me that. No, not on my Android, Miss iPhone. Talking all that mess that she's seen them pictures. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She's so selfish. Because then when it was her turn to take my picture, she was like, I just, I send it to now. Return the favor. Team Android. Remember? Oh, oh. That's all. I have to get our little cloud in where we can because iPhone people just will not let up. So, yeah, girl, that's my little Android and stuff. <laughs> my little boo. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I got a ring light, too. And the background helps. And being a brown skin girl, beautiful brown skin, that helps as well. I mean, hey. <laughs> so, thank you for the compliment. Team Android for the win. Any other questions before I go? Oh, I gotta take my trash out. I forgot. And I'm like going out at night, y'all. Let me tell you. I think it was like 9 o'clock at night. And I just glanced out the window being nosy. I'm like the neighborhood pearl from 227. I'm mean, like, ooh, what they doing across the street? When I say there was a coyote standing in the middle of my street near my window, I don't be going outside at night time. You can have the trash. You can have everything in it, Mr. Coyote. Because he was just standing in the middle of the street like he owned the neighborhood. You do. I'm going to be in the house. So I try not to go out <laughs> at night. Or if I do, I make a lot of noise. And hopefully it scares them away. Because I have seen them. And uh, no. Mm -mm. That wasn't a pleasant sight. So I say all that because I still got to take my trash out. Or either wake up really early. Before the trash people get here. I don't like doing that. So I'm going to try to uh, get it out and run back in the house. <laughs> so we got to do that. <laughs> so. A little laugh for the day. But yeah, we got coyotes. So I was like, in Georgia? First I thought it was a wolf. Then my friend was like, we don't have wolves. You are no longer my friend. It looked like a wolf. It's in the wolf family. So come to find out it's coyote. <laughs> I don't care what it is. I don't need to know. I'm good in my house. So anyway, I shared a little laugh with y'all today. There was something else that I was supposed to do while I was sitting at this computer. I can't remember what it is. Um, so I'm leaving the scholarship spots open for the mentorship over at blackwomeningrants.com. I'm looking for, I think everything is on my phone. This one's not popping up. Let me see what else I was supposed to do for homework tonight before I go to bed. And if y'all got any final questions, ahas, or takeaways, I'm happy to chat. And thank y'all for being here. It always blesses me to help you guys with rent stuffs. I'm about to turn this light off though because it does try to trigger a migraine from time to time. So. That means the club is getting ready to close. So if you got a question, an aha, a takeaway, a comment that you want to share, now is the time to do it. Let me review my homework and then I'm going to go. I 
stomach growling again. So I'm about to go. Any final takeaways, ahas, questions, anything y'all want to share? Or is that it? Should we wrap it up? Y'all good? All hearts and minds clear? I done preached. You got to speak. Congratulations. We speaking. Is it like virtual or in person? From your lap, I was telling them you balling. Like balling, balling. Like you rich, rich in grand dollars. Like, I love it. You're welcome, miss. Is it Miss Q or Miss Quee? I got a cousin named Quee, and that's how she spells her name. Everybody say congratulations, Deanna. It was in person in the whole room. <gasps> HBCU grads. I love it. You need to get a business started for all. Okay. <laughs> Miss Q. Okay. Gotcha, girl. I bet you rocked it. Hope Did you get pictures? I hope you got pictures because guess what? When you ask for tips on video tips, those are the pictures you put in your videos to be like, here's how I made use of my last grant. For five thousand dollars, I'm giving back. I'm a mentor, HBCU grass. Here's a picture of me speaking. Here's a video of me speak. Come on, come to the event on the thirtieth so I can teach you what to do. <laughs> come on, hopefully you got proof. You got video? Y'all seen? Have you seen my video, the documentary? Um, cause I be putting my videos and I gotta do another one. This one is year old now year and a half definitely got some new footage i need to put in there you did okay those are from speaking see my looking over my glasses at you okay. <laughs> oh okay 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 i see what you did here i'm just reviewing my notes i'm proud of myself I usually be waiting to the last minute to do my homework, but it be getting dead though. So I've done the work. Okay. I don't know why my screen is when the font is small. Oh that is weird. Okay. Okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. Okay, so I've done my homework, y'all. So I'm good. I'm going to go eat late, although I should not. I should save some, but I'm not going to because it was that good. Um, I had a, I don't even know what it was. It was like, it was the vegan style a Chinese dish. And I took that first bite <clears throat> and I was quiet the whole meal. That's when you know food is good. <laughs> just, just concentrate. So I'm about to go concentrate. I probably need to heat it up. I bet it's good cold, though. That's how good it was. I gladly spent almost $100 on this meal. That included a tip, too. I deserved it. You deserve this, too. So that was my celebration meal for being good today. Good at what? I don't know. I got out the bed. That's all I need to do. Amen? Okay. <laughs> so, I'm going to go... Thank y'all for being here. If you have questions and you joined us. Oh, I got one more thing to do. Thank God I looked at this. Okay, I'm going to go do that. Then I'm going to go to bed. You just, you. Oh, okay, so no, I'm here live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're live on Zoom once a month for the mentees. So that's a part of the mentorship. And you join that. Um that pdf that's in the mentorship download it because it has the link for you to register for our once a month zoom calls okay you get to come on live we get to chat talk you get to meet the other some of the other ladies that show up on the calls um talking grants and what page you're on the, in the book and where you are in the program and where do you feel stuck in the um uh, application process get all your questions answered Get your money's worth, sis. It's there for you to do just that. So get registered for the next event. We meet every first Saturday live on Zoom for what we call open office hours. Um, but if you're if it's your first time, it'll be like an orientation for you. And so come on, we're gonna hang out. We're gonna be there. We're gonna be there. 
any other questions before I go for our newbies that just joined the mentorship? Those of you that want to join, but maybe it's doing something weird. I want to make sure you get registered if you would like. I am leaving the scholarships open so that I don't have more work on my plate. <laughs> You'll be at the next one. Okay. Because we did have one a couple weekends ago. We got one coming up. I think it's April 2nd, if I'm remembering correctly, but don't quote me on that. Just look for the first Saturday in the next month and we'll be there. <laughs> and then we're going to start doing regularly scheduled events as well. So we got our calendar we're mapping out now. And by we, I mean me, Jesus, the Holy Spirit, God, the anointing, the blood, the Bible, the church, and all that. You're welcome. That's all I got. TikTok said I've been live for 90 minutes, even when they try to shut my life down. I don't know why. I don't know. Thank you for being. I got 6.7k likes. Y'all showing out for the 99 and 2000. I might need to come back and do a live at night. I guess y'all done got off work now. I want to talk rants. Is that what it is? Y'all was clunked tonight. I appreciate y'all. Until we meet again, my friends, <laughs> remember that there's someone somewhere. They're waiting on you. I forgot I'm sitting in the dark. This is so normal to me. <laughs> but y'all looking at me looking like Blair Witch Trials. Walk in your destiny so that others can as well. Let your light shine because you're giving others permission to do the same. And as a future grant winner, let me see future grant winner in the comment before y'all go. Profess that thing. Claim that thing. Go do your homework. Because as a future grant winner, when you impact one life, you impact generations. We got any future grant winners here? Let me see. Put it in the chat real quick and then we're going to go. If not, don't worry about it. Um. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. There you okay. All right. Have a phenomenal rest of your night. Bye, future grand winner. God bless. <laughs>